So I want you to think about where you can go to lifestyle prospect. So I want you to pop out and think about places that you could go to on a daily basis prospect people. So what are some of the places that come to your mind? The local community pool. Okay, the pool, okay. Doors. Um, what did you say? Shopping. Where? Out shopping. Okay, shopping. Okay. Exercise. I like the gym. A gym is great. A gym is really wonderful. Um, school. Okay. If you have kids in school. Kids in school. Kids at any kind of kids, act, kids activity where you're there with other parents. Networking, networking activities. Any kind of networking activity. Okay. Um, gosh, I, I sponsored people from being in line at the post office. You know, I just think of all the places on, on airplanes, on trains, on, you know, I just think through the years, all the places that I have um, prospected and sponsored somebody. So, you know, you start out with a compliment. So that's your first thing. And then, um, you know, you're thinking about, um, and this is one of the things you could say that, you know, Jocelyn came up with, you know, I love your makeup. It's so, you know, you just, you just put it on beautifully. It's done beautifully. And, you know, what products do you use or are you a makeup artist? So that's kind of the follow-up, but you could just think, gosh, your makeup is just gorgeous. One of the things I always love to say to somebody is I'm always so curious. You know, what, what do you use? What, what products do you use? I love your outfit. Where did you get it? So if they're receptive, this is what Judy Pressman always taught me. You go in and you compliment somebody. If they start to play back with you, if they, <laughs> if they engage with you, then you, you go on. Because you want to sponsor people who are friendly, outgoing, personable, have um, that life energy, are charismatic. If that person just sits there and doesn't engage back with you and carry on a conversation with you, you don't want to sponsor them. So move on. But so if you if they come if you come back and you say, oh my gosh, your arms are so toned. All right, how long has it taken you? To you know, you have Michelle Obama arms. How long has it taken you to get those arms? So how long have you been working out? And so you're going to, you want to strike up a conversation. You know, your kids are so cute. How do you, how come they're so well-behaved? What have you done to help them be so well-behaved? You're, you know, I can just tell you you're a great mom. And you want to just start asking them questions. So, you know, when you're, when they start to be receptive, you just say, you know, do you shop around here? Where did you get those shoes? Where do you get those outfits? I never, I never can find shoes that great. Where did you get those? Do you shop around here? Do you live around here? Oh, really? How, do you live in this area? How long have you lived around here? You look so put together. I say this a lot. You look so put together. Are you on your way? I don't know. That's some kind of background noise. Are you on your way to a, an appointment? Are you on your way to meet uh, someone for lunch? Um, and then they'll come back and say, oh, no, no, I'm just on my lunch break or my lunch hour. And I'll say, oh, really? So what do you do for work? And then you always you know, want to follow that up with, oh, you must love that. Or do you, or do you love that? Do you love it? And then they'll come back and say to you, um, yes, or, you know, yeah, I really do. Or you could say, um, they come back and they say, no, not really. So that really le leads me in, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about what I do with that one in a minute. So then you want to say to them, when they tell you what they do for work, oh, I'm a, I'm a massage therapist. I am a dental hygienist. Um, I am a teacher. I'm a nurse. Um, then you want to say, oh, what drew you? into that kind of work? What made you want to be 
an esthetician or whatever they tell you. You want to get them to start giving you information. And then, you know, um, how long have you been into, how long have you been to, let's say you, to, you told them that they had the best looking toned arms. And then you can say, how long have you been into fitness or nutrition? How long have you been into fitness? And then um, do you go to the gym every day? Or if you're at the gym, do you come to the gym every day? Um, what's your training look like? Because people like to talk about themselves. So when you engage people and you ask them more questions about themselves, they enjoy that. Um, I don't know if you remember about reading about that famous experiment that they did where they would go on planes and then um, start a conversation up with someone. And they would travel for two to three hours, and then they would come off the plane, and people would, in the experiment, would ask the person, um, you know, how did you feel about the person that was sitting next to you? And they would, their comeback would be, oh, I found them to be the most fascinating or interesting pe person I've ever met. And all they had done that entire time is ask them questions about themselves. Wow. So that was just, it was the most amazing experiment that they did. And so if you, you know, we like people who like us. So we think we, we connect with people who are really warm to us, who want to know about us. So if you start asking them, so gear the next question to what's your training like? How often do you come to the gym? And then you can go into do you use any supplements and that kind of leads you into opening doors remember that whenever you add value to someone um you you know that's where you start to build a relationship so um these are some of the things that that jocelyn has really been doing these last few weeks I told, she came up and had a coaching call with me a few weeks ago. Maybe it's been about six weeks ago. And I told her to go out on her lunch hour and just become the most interested person in the world and go out there and meet new contacts every day. And she's been doing a dang good job of it. And so do you, anything that you want to add here, Jocelyn? Um. Yeah, when I was kind of, I was really hesitant about prospecting every single day and Dina was saying, you know, this is what you have to do. You have to go out every single day. And I was only going out like maybe on the weekends or if I ran to Target or the gym. But when you actually put the, when she put the challenge in front of me to just go out every single day and meet someone, I realized how easy it is to, I, I can really approach anyone now and just give them a compliment because people are dying for compliments. No one is making eye contact anymore. It's like you have Pokemon Go in your face. You know, no one is doing anything. And I just decided I was going to stop that. I put my phone down when I was at the grocery store and I just really noticed people and complimenting. Uh, I got really good responses with complimenting. And as soon as they were receptive and they they gave me a really good response back. I just continued to ask more questions. And that has brought um, the girl, Gina, who I, we just sponsored her this week. She's probably one of the greatest women I've ever met so far. And with, if I hadn't contacted her or just complimented on her pants, we would have never met. <laughs> That's awesome. That is just so true. So you gear your questions specifically to what they're telling you. So just, get, so just get really interested in them. Don't try to be interesting yourself. Get interested in what they're telling you. So keep the focus on them and don't talk about yourself. And then throughout your conversation, you can continue to give them genuine compliments. Gosh, you are so committed to working out. That is incredible that you go to the gym five days a week. I am just so impressed with you. You know, and then ask them more questions like, you know, do you vary it? Have you worked with a personal trainer before? 
Um, you know, do you work out with a friend? How do you keep your focus so that you, you know, you continue to just ask them questions. So you continue to give them those compliments to, oh, you're such a good mom. You know, you just, I can see, I've been watching you with your kids and they're darling and you're, how you respond to them. You know, do you have any other children? You know, just keep asking them questions about about themselves and give them compliments. Now, so how do you end your bump into conversation? So this is where I'm going to ask Jocelyn to, to pop in here too. You know, I really enjoy talking with you. You're so fun and cute and um, fun to talk to. So Jocelyn, what do you do at this point? So I'll always always make sure that we're going to connect somehow. I never really leave that conversation without connecting. And so I'll take out my phone and I'll say, we should be friends on Facebook or Instagram. Or if I had a really great connection with them, I'll say, we should go out for smoothies because my gym is right next to a really fun smoothie place. And so I'll pull out my phone and I'll start following them. And I make sure that they're following me. I don't just do one way or the other. Way or the other. Okay, so for the people who are not as technology um, amazing as you, so when you just pull out your phone and you say you start following them, how do you do? What steps do you do? How do you do that? Does that make sense? What I just asked? oh, so um, if if I usually well, I'm a whoops, we lost you there, babe. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Um, so when I say following you, I'll either pull up my Facebook um, account. So I have an app. I have the Facebook app, the Instagram app, Instagram app on my phone. Okay. So I'll pull and search. I'll put their name in my phone or I'll put their name in the search bar right away. And um, I'll make sure I start following them. And then... I also make sure that they start following me at that exact same time. I'm just not following them. I'll make how sure. Do you, that, how do you get them to do that? So I just say, well, so the thing I've been saying is we should be friends on Facebook and then I'll put their name in and then I'll say, okay, now you can start following me and I'll show them. Usually I'm talking to younger people so they can just automatically follow me, but you can also just show them here. Now you can start following me. And I really haven't had a lot of problems because usually if I start following them, they automatically start doing it as well. They'll accept my friend request or they'll accept my follow and start following me. I haven't had really anyone, I haven't really had to tell anyone, now you start following me. They just kind of do it out of the courtesy of, of becoming each other's friend. Okay, and then do you go home that night and say, hey, it was so nice meeting you. I was a crazy lady at the, you know, Starbucks or is the crazy lady. Do you do something like that? Yeah, so I, I'll either do it that same day or the just the very next day. And I'll start immediately liking and commenting on their posts. Or <clears throat> if, I've got, um, a, if I've gotten their phone number, then I'll send them a text and say, it was so fun meeting you. And I try and bring something back from our conversation and relate it back to them. Okay. So that's great. Okay. And now what do you do after now? What do you do next? So then for like the next week or two weeks, I really just generally try genuinely try and get to know them and see if they're going to be a good fit for either the business or the product. Usually if, I'm contacting someone it's for the business because I really like how Dina has taught us to lead with the business. And that's really what I've been focusing on. And I'll just continue to ask them questions and like, and comment on any pictures that they do or, um, also on Facebook, if they, if they post anything, I'll, I'll always make sure to like and comment. And then I also send them a private message and continue on with our conversation and really just continue to ask them questions and see if they would be a good fit for the business, which typically they are for me because that's what I'm searching for, or if they would be interested in the, in the products. 
Okay, so when you private message them, um, what do you say in your private message? So, um, for example, um, Hallie, this girl that I met a couple weeks ago, she's pregnant. We're both pregnant. I said this um, example last time, but uh, I just say it was so fun to meet you. I'm so glad we've become friends. Um, and then I'll just say, so she wanted a pregnancy workout. I sent her a pregnancy workout. And I just try and, and she's a teacher. So I sent her some funny, like little post, like they're called uh, GIFs or memes. And I've just sent a couple of funny ones to her about teaching. And then, um, so we're going to have for us older people that aren't quite as, as quick as Miss Jocelyn, when the gist, I mean, she's going to post what in the heck she's talking about. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. She's going to post that because that this is my mission to get brilliant. I've almost got my web, website caught up, and then I promise I'm going to be brilliant at social media. I don't know about the rest of you, but um, I also got some other training on social media that I'll We'll do a training in the next um, two weeks, but and what Jocelyn has gotten really, really good at is you, you, this, you have just jumped into this, meeting new people and doing this, and it's really working for you. It gave you good new leads every day to do a pamper basket with, and some, and people to do business chats with. So I just know that it can work for all of you because. She's doing it, and it is so working for her. Um, you sponsored two, and then you have someone else that you're sponsoring at, in at August first, right? Yep, I we've actually signed her up. Um, so I, I've signed up. It'll be three people uh, in the next week and a half. And um, I just met another on Instagram today that I'm doing a business chat with her. Um, Tomorrow, um, I'm, I'm talking to you, Dina, tomorrow to ask a couple questions, but, but I met another, I set up another business appointment this week, so um, it's incredible. So, I mean, think about how, how many of you want to learn about how to get good at this? Okay, I want some feedback. I don't want everybody just to be quiet. Tell me what you're thinking right now and any questions that you have to ask Jocelyn. This Jocelyn, opportunity. I really like, Jocelyn, how you said um, to follow them and comment, because I have no problem of meeting someone new and then saying, gosh, um, I'd love to connect with you. Um, are you on Facebook? And they just pull out their phone. Okay, then we're connected. But then I was kind of stuck after I wrote, great meeting you. Um, look forward to getting to know you. Then it was like, I didn't want to seem overbearing of bringing up products for the business. So you're saying, get to know them as a human being for a couple weeks and find out what are their likes and dislikes. Is that what you're doing? Exactly. Yeah. I don't want them to feel like I'm just hunting. Uh, like I'm only, I'm only being friends with you because I want you to do our bond. Um, I want them to feel like I genuinely care and want to get to know them. And usually people always have a need for our bond. Um, and so you just discover that need and that want through genuinely connecting with them for a week or two. And they seem just really receptive to that instead of just like throwing Arbon down their throat in that first initial right. meeting. Because I met a great girl the other day on this Sunday um, and she was wearing a t-shirt said something about attack the killer tomatoes. So <laughs> started laughing with her about that and saying, oh my gosh, you know, when I was at university, that was the big movie. And she said, well, that's funny because for us, that's antique, but I'm a vegetable rep. <laughs> you can come back and say to them, you know, where did you get a message of and say, okay, where did you find your cute t-shirt? Where did you get that cute t-shirt from? Um, or, you know, that was so funny. And here's one of my favorite sayings. And then you can come back. If you add value to their life, that's mm -hmm. when it starts to build a friendship. So if they have cute hair or they have, cute, they have great looking makeup, send them a makeup tutorial. Send them a little quick tutorial on how to do, you know, a different kind of an eye look. 
ask there if there is a fashion, send them one of your favorite fashion bloggers. Yeah. Uh, do something that adds value back to them. If they're into fitness, send them um, how to do a what are your recipes for your favorite shake, your favorite smoothie. Just do something to add value back to them, and then that starts to build a relationship where they're thinking, gosh, she's a great friend to have because when I sit down and play with any kind of business person and I give a marketing advice, wow, they are so thrilled because I'm adding value of how they can market their business. So if you can improve their lives, you're going to build that stronger relationship up very quickly. So, um, I okay, so let's think about that then. So what if you go and you want to, I, I, I'm a very fast recruiter. Phoebe and I were both talking today, and we're very fast recruiters. So uh, I can go in and recruit pretty, pretty darn fast. So you can take what we're gonna, what we did. Now let's take it going straight to wanting to meet them for a business chat. So this to be what? <clears throat> this you do the exact same thing. So if I met somebody and I said, "Ooh, gosh, they look sharp. I'd love to have them on my team." Started off with the genuine compliment, but what you do next is you say, oh, that is such a great-looking purse, or that is, that is such a great-looking um, watch, um, or your makeup is so beautiful. And then you go right into saying, I, and this is what you say next, I notice things like that in my business. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh. I notice things like that in my business. And... Um, and then they're going to say to you, what is your, and you don't say another word. And then you just, and then they'll, you sit there for a second and then they'll go, oh, what business are you in? Or what, what is your business? Okay, now this is when you've got to have this very confident, but it's kind of a casual thing. When I showed Jocelyn, and she remembers how I showed her how to do that, I actually leaned forward and I touched her arm. So you kind of lean forward like you're sharing some kind of a secret with them. You kind of touch them on their arm and you go and you just go, it's like, it's like you're sharing something that, you know, like you're mon money laundering or something, you know, you're just kind of <laughs> sharing something with them. And you want to, now you want to share your buzz statement. So you're going to put in your buzz statement right here. So you're going to say, oh gosh, it's, and just, it's amazing, but I have a business with some friends of mine, and they figured out how to tap into the 100 million baby boomers in North America. You know, all those baby boomers who don't want to age, and, and no one wants to look their age today. Well, I have found, we have tapped into these baby boomers, and we have a new skincare device, and the before and afters are killers. And then you don't say anything else. And so then you're waiting for them to see if they bite. Because if you do more than that, you're actually trying to do the presentation right there. And you're not wanting to do the presentation. All you're wanting to do is get their contact information so you can schedule a business chat. So then if they say to me, well, what is it that you do exactly? And then you say, oh, my gosh, I wish I had more time, but this just, it just isn't a good time. This isn't a good time for either one of us right now. You know, we're rushing. So I'll come back and finish that in a minute. Now, what if they were younger? What if they were, say, a millennial or a Gen, a Gen Xer? Well, they're not going to be as interested in this if you say the baby boomers. Mm -hmm. So... There you want to say, my friends and I have found a way to tap into the billion-dollar wellness and sports nutrition industry. You know, that's so happening. You know, you look around and you see everybody in yoga clothes. Everybody's wearing, um, you know, uh, fitness clothes today. Well, it's so happening with Gen Xers and millennials right now. And I 
my friends and I have found a way to tap into that, that billion dollar industry. And then you don't say anything else because they're going to want to know what it is you're doing. They want to know what you just tapped into. So you, then you're going to come back and say, oh, gosh, I wish this was a better, uh, you know, time, but I'm, 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 in a, I'm in a rush, and I've got to, I've got to run. <clears throat> and then you're going to go into saying, it's, why don't we exchange information, and maybe we could meet up for coffee, and I could tell you more about what I'm doing. And we can, and uh, you know, we could see if it's a fit for us, for both of us to work together, and see if it captures your interest, like it's you know captured mine. And then what you want to always, people always love busy people. People always love it. People who've got things happening. So you're just going to say to them, now I'm crazy busy. My schedule is slammed. If I don't get back to you within the next couple of days, are you going to be okay with that? So what did I just do? Create interest. And there, I use posturing. Okay, you, you can say to them, you know, I'm, we're going to have to sit down and do kind of an interview to see if this is going to, if you're going to really be right for this, right? And they say, yeah, yeah, and say, okay, well, so we've got to get together and sit down and have like a formal um, chat. Um, but my schedule slammed, and so, um, but I, I promise I will get back to you, but it may not be for a couple of days. So that's how I say it. So then they, we give, we exchange, and I say, why don't you give me your, um, your cell number, and then let's friend each other. I'll friend you tonight so we can remember how we met each other. So then what I'm going to do is I can say, oh, hey, um, you know, Barbara, it was so nice to meet you. I, we're the, you know, I was the crazy lady that had the, you know, complimented you on your watch. Um, and... I just wanted to friend you so we could remember how we met each other. And I am going to get back with you. My schedule is planned. But how would it look? Um, how would you, what, what is your Thursday or Friday look like? We can meet for coffee. So that's how I do the immediately go for sponsoring someone immediately. Mm. Now I know when I meet them, if I meet up for coffee, they're going to have to try the product afterwards. So I know I'm going to do kind of a pre I'm going to do a presentation, and then I'm going to ask them what intrigued you the most, what excited you about what you heard. And then they're going to come back and say, well, I really need to try the, pro try the product. And I say, okay, so if, there, if you like the product, and that all works out for you, because I get that. We're women. If it's a woman, we have to love you know, something before we can tell people about it. So it, you know, where, if that works out for you, where, where's your interest right now? And then I'll go through and find that out, find out, find that out for them. But I've sponsored a lot, a lot, a lot of people. This is how I did it constantly in Australia in my team, was with, through this kind of prospect. So you've got really got two different um, high kinds of prospecting. And you really need to do both because the way that, um, that Jocelyn's been doing it, you really can create those relationships. And then she goes into the five-point ask. And that is the training that I'm doing on our, um, the, the create your future is really how to make sure you're doing that with both an indirect, a direct, and a warm prospect. So, you'll, you know, jump on that tonight and get real confident about what the next step you do and that's what Jocelyn's been doing is that 
four point ask so well? And moving these people into being um, business partners with her. So, any any thoughts or questions or anything you you want more help with? Dina, can you respond or can you reply? I'm taking notes. Can you say again what you say about being really busy? Oh yeah, I just say to them now. This is just. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish I could tell you more about it right now, but I'm. This is not a good time. <laughs> you know, this is a crazy place for us to really go into this, and my schedule slammed. So, and I think you do realize that we'd have to sit down and have like a formal chat, a formal appointment to see if this would, you know, you would really, this would really be something that you'd want to do because, you know, uh, you know, we have to make sure it's going to be a fit for both of us, right? They'll say yes. Okay. So. Why don't we exchange information? Let me get your contact. Just jot down your contact information. I take out my card, and I do not give them my card until I take I jot down their information. And then right now, why don't we friend each other on Facebook? And I'll I'll um, friend you tonight so you can remember my name. Oh, and by the way, my name's Dina Wilkinson. <laughs> And that's how I do it. And then I go, and then I'll friend you tonight. Yeah. And so we can remember how we met each other. Yeah. So my schedule is slammed. And so if I don't get back to you in the next, you know, 48 hours, are you going to be okay with that? And they say, okay. And then I say, oh, then I'll, 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 but, oh, but, but just, just let me know quick, quick. How does your schedule look towards the end of the week that so we could meet up for coffee? How does like your Thursday or Friday look? Are you more open? Okay, well I'll get back with you and we'll I'll, we'll firm something up. So that's how I do that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, any any other comments or um what what's been your takeaway from today? Well, I think what's really going to help me is that line. I notice things like that in my business. My problem is, my challenge is I have no problem starting conversations or meeting people. In fact, I've gotten so many new friends. My problem is making that transition from the friendship to the business. And why do, why do you think that is? Tell me what's holding you back from taking it to that next step. Because I don't want them to, exactly what was said earlier, I don't want anyone to think that I'm being not genuinely interested in them as a friend. I don't want anyone to feel like I'm just befriending them because I want them to join Arbon or buy Arbon products. Okay, so what is it serving you if they just stay? Because I've, I've seen this pattern with a lot of people that are on this call right now. I see you in a holding pattern with people. And because you're afraid that you're going to lose them, is that correct? I don't want to give them the impression that I've had of other people who have approached me regarding opportunities like this. Okay. All right. So what if you, because here's what I, this is what I always want to let people know. You're afraid you're going to lose somebody, but you don't really have them. So if you just stay in that position, you never move your business forward. So you could you could just say, I have such a random question for you. And I know that we are just we are just new in our friendship. But when I met you, you look like the absolute person that I'm looking for. And so, you know, I you know, I just have to ask you, do you you know, are you open to some, um, you know, a new thing in your life right now? Because I'm doing something that I think you'd be brilliant at. And I'd love to have you, I'd love to partner with you. And so, you know, and then you just say to them, this is, you know, I have a online marketing business where I, I consult. Um, I consult with people and I have an online um a virtual online business, and I'm we market exclusive 
um, pr um, just premier Swiss skincare and cosmetics. And I, you're just so sharp. And I think you'd be brilliant at doing this with me. And I would love to just meet you for coffee and tell you more about it. And, and just see which, if it's something that would capture your imagination like it has mine. I love that line of capture your imagination because then that leads for open possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think the key for me is I have spent so much time becoming a friend that now I feel like I, I think the secret for me is to approach it much sooner in the relationship than I have been. I think you're, I think you're waiting way too long. I mean, look at how long Jocelyn's met these people within two to three weeks, they're already partners. Right. I think you're, it's, it, you're, you're, you know, when we have a co coaching call, Carolyn, ah, that's exactly what we're going to work on. Okay. You need to move all these people forward. Okay. You need to take them to the next step on that journey. Okay, Any, anyone else want some help with coaching on this? Well, I know for... Go ahead, Gary. I know that for me, one of the transitions that I've been working on, and what's really been helping me is Ian's call. Um, I've listened to that like two or three times a day. Which one? The one that I'm closing your prospect? There's two on... I have yeah, two they, of they, calls. Is, is it the one I posted to you guys? Yeah, it's the one I think on the Pamper Basket page uh -huh. that talks about you know if they don't have six to eight gold baskets they're not in business uh -huh. and I know for me one of my challenges has been um, really worrying about what other people think of me and you know even new people that I'm meeting and I've really been making a shift to this whatever it may be this is the best gig in town either products or business there you go, too. And leading more with the business, that's been a new shift for me, too. Um, but I'm really, I'm really good at getting names and numbers and in following up, but I'm not getting really good um, responses for getting potential friends, strangers that are turning into friends, into the business chat. Okay, so here's some wording that I got today. Let me see if I can quickly find this for you guys right here. Um, for taking it to that next level online with somebody, that's a Facebook kind of friend, which these guys would be considered. Let me just get this, get this right here. Okay, so you could say to them, what, then, what you're getting at, you're building that relationship, you've talked to them a little bit. Then you could say to them, um, you know, what do you do? What are you doing currently? You know, what do you do for, for work? And then if they say, oh, I am, um, I'm in marketing or I'm whatever, whatever. And you can say to them, have you ever thought about doing something else? And you can, you could ask them, you know, I bet you just love that. And if they say, oh, not really, then you could say, have you ever thought about doing something else? And then you could ask them, here's the next question. Would you consider yourself a self-starter and driven, or are you pretty much happy where you're at? And they, you know, if, they, if you say, you know, because one of the other questions I ask people is five years from now, would you like to be where you're at today? Would you like to still be working there? And they'll go, no. And then I say, well, have you ever thought of doing something else then? And then you could say, I don't know if this is a fit for you, but I thought I'd throw it out there, given how motivated you think. And just say, I am with a company that's expanding globally. We just entered the skincare device world. And already we're in the top three devices worldwide in sales. 
and it, it we're expanding globally. And right now, I'm looking for a couple people who would love to join a business when it is incredible momentum. And so I would love to, um, you know, meet you for coffee or do a Zoom call with you and just explore maybe and see if this might be something that you would enjoy doing. And you could do it alongside what you're currently doing until you you build up, um, you know, a, a global business with them. So how did that sound to you guys? I like the five year. I always liked that. You like what? I like the five year question. Like, can you, will you be happy with if you're doing the same thing within five years? Because that really strikes me as, I don't know anybody who wants to be doing the same thing in five years. They um, don't. And so when you say that to people, they go, ooh, no. And then right. you know, okay, so have you ever thought about doing something else then? Right. You know, if you're a person, you can ask it like that, or you can say, if, if it's online, you can just say, well, gosh, then have you ever thought about doing something else? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I've always, you know, think I want to do something. I just don't, and they'll say things like, I just don't know where to look, or I just don't know what to do, or, you know, and then you can go and say that. Well, would you consider yourself that self-starter, or are you pretty much happy where you're at? No, I'm not happy where I'm at. Well, that's that's you know, that's a great line. Fit you, but let me, I want to, you know, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'll tell you what, you know, I'll tell you what captured my imagination because I didn't want to keep doing what I was doing five years from now. So I will post up that little conversation because I think it's really good about what you can do next. So, Carolyn, you can, you can get back to all the people that you you have friendships with and just say, you know, I, you know, I just have to tell you, um, you know, I, I just ask about how their business going and mm -hmm. you could say to them, um, are you just loving that? Is that someplace that you could, you want to retire at? And they go, no. Well, how about would you want to be there here five years from now? No. I don't know if what I'm doing would interest you, but it, I'll tell you what, it's captured my imagination. Okay. Dina? Yeah. I have. Um, Whoa, I've got to get off this call because I've got oh, to oh, open up that other, post, that other we'll post it on the page. Because I'm doing the training. I, I didn't even notice what time it was. So sorry, what were you going to say? No, I'll post it on the page and you can answer it there. No, no biggie. Okay, because I just get panic that I got to go do that other call. So, okay. um, all right, you guys. Now, I'm challenging you. Here is your challenge. Here are two things I want to hurry and wrap up with tonight. I challenged Australia to have 16 new contacts by next Thursday. 16 new contacts, so that's four a day. You can get them online and you can get them in person. 16 new contacts. Everybody up for that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now the other thing is I want you to download, purchase, buy, steal, whatever you have to do to get that book, John O'Leary's book, On Fire, The Seven Steps. I promise you, Phoebe and I both read it. I am jumping on. I'm going to jump on right now. All right. Good night. Thank you, Dina. Okay. I'll, I'll call you right, right back. I'm just hanging out with the other guys. Okay. And so you, I want you to read that book. We both could not put the book down. I read it in the middle of the night. I read it anywhere. Mm -hmm. I could. It is the most inspiring, life-changing book. I want you to read that um, absolutely immediately because it's going to change your life. I'm you. sorry. It's called On Fire, Seven Steps. Who's yes. the author? Yeah, Seven Steps to whatever. I can't remember what it is at this very second. But when you just go on to Amazon and you do John O'Leary, On Fire, it'll come up. It's also uh -huh. posted on the page, the Nation page, I think. Yeah, and it's on the Nation page. And absolutely, I'll repost it. I'll share the picture again tonight. But I want you to do that. And I have got to fly. So, okay. 
Um, jump on the other call with me if you can, and um, I can't wait to hear. I just challenge you to do more. I want you to get your calendar full. I want you to live life. I want you to read that book. Okay. So, talk to you guys soon. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Night.